Walking down Main Street tonight Got a lot on my mind since you walked out and said Merry Christmas, babe, give me some time Hey everyone, it's Chalina Achol, the Sudani mommy Yay! Ms. Berna, back with another video um, For today's video, I'm doing a glam look So you can see from the title um, This is going to be a little different it's gonna, I'm using rhinestones instead I went for like a blue and white theme. That's kind of like my whole vibe this Christmas season. Enjoy the rhinestones. If you like what you see, stay tuned and keep on watching. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying the Christmas and the most exciting part that 2020 is almost over. Y'all, we got one week left in this. First things first, I'm going to do my eyebrows, but eyebrows take forever. And um, unless you guys want an eyebrow tutorial, I'm going to just skip forward. Now that my eyebrows are done, um, the lid. I just use uh, my concealer with a damp beauty blender, rub it in. This is the Sonia Kashi Beauty Blender from Target. Set that with translucent powder or an eyeshadow that's similar to your um, skin complexion. I like to bring some definition back into my lid. Tardius Pro Palette. Um, so I'm using the color Drama. Poke into the natural the hollowness in your eyelid and then just do circular motion and then swipe. Circular motion, swipe. Circular motion, swipe. I like it to come like a little bit above, like right under eye eyebrow. So it just gives a little redness and some depth. It's like a burgundy color. So that um, is similar to the color, the redness around my eyes, which I really like. I take a little bit of a tan. This one is bold. And then just put it right under my eyebrow and then blend those two together. So a shimmery lighter color for my tear duct and under my brow this one i'm using the anastasia modern renaissance palette in the shade vermeer and then put some in a tear duct so for <clears throat> eyeliner i'm using epic eyeliner nyx in black Lashes. I actually got some new lashes. I'm gonna try it today. They're they say they're 3D faux mink lashes. They're 100% handmade. I got them at the Dollar Tree actually. And Amelia, I just like peel it off. Be careful because sometimes you can rip it off. That glue can be really sticky. And normally I like using the magenta duo, but I ran out of that one, so I'm just using this clear one. A thin little amount, and focus on the tips, the ends. I like to do them simultaneously because glue takes forever to dry. About these lashes is how they're like thicker in the bottom and then they get like thin out at the ends so as like a the hairs get smaller it looks really pretty it looks really natural i got this um rhinestone stick thing on ebay but i burnt the end with my hot comb yeah, that shit is toast. So I'm going to try using this end. Um, for glue, I am just using um, same eyelash glue. Normally, I actually put it on here. This is the rhinestone. got this um, at a beauty supply store. So you'll probably be able to find this. I got both of these at your beauty supply store. But I know you can get them in bulk online too. You can find them anywhere. I'm going to be putting on the blue ones. So I'm going to be putting three on each side. Three blue ones on each side. So I'm going to need six of them. You can also use tweezers if you don't have one of these, which is what I might go back to. Take, a, I'm gonna take a dab of glue so it's like a little sticky, something for it to grab onto. Grab that. Lightly tap there. Sometimes it gets stuck in there and it holds onto it. Let me see if I can grab this side. Yeah, I'm about to use tweezers. This is, I'm not playing games with this. So open your eyelid so that natural curve that you have there. Sometimes I like 
like to take the glue on this end and then just put it where I want it. Symmetrical to this side. So after you see where that natural curve is. I put a white dot like here this white dot is next as well it kind of gets crusty i hear the fenty one is better but if you're doing a line it might be more difficult but if you're just doing a dot you'll be all right yeah. i have another set too Dervaski elements hair decoration stones and those ones i'm going to put on the ends the tips of the wing eyeliner I have on. Yes, I'll be right there by your side, making you ready for your sleep So there's that. Um, let me put this other eye on. No, I will never leave you all. I'll just do the rest of my makeup quick.
take my hair down. I curled my hair earlier um, and set my did my baby hairs. And I curled my hair with a straightener. You guys want to learn how to curl your hair with a straightener? Let a sister know, you know, let me know. Let me know, let me know, I can help you. R.I.P. enjoyed this and I hope it was helpful in any way shape or form or just gave you some creative ideas of things you could do um, I guess I steer clear of eyeshadow a lot so the rhinestones I really love and they're really simple and I they're cheap and I had them they're a little you have to be steady-handed but overall they are kind of they are fun to do and they just make me feel creative and just like a nice um, way of self-expression another way of self-expression but thank you for watching this video happy holidays and Stay tuned for the next video. See you guys again. Bye. Join.